Hello, this is Abhir, and today we are going to discuss about the Google Summer of Code project, Async API. You can find these projects under the org postman. How to find it? Go to Google Summer of Code website, and there you will find list of org. Search for postman. We'll find the link to this GitHub uh, repo, and henceforth you will end up over here with all the projects which are under postman as well as under the Async API. So today we are going to discuss about this 19th uh, PR, the 19th issue and that is Async API Introduce UI Test and Refactoring the Website. This is the project that I will be mentoring for. So uh, I'll be helping you out and this preparing every, pro uh, like helping you to uh, know how to prepare proposals and stuff. Okay. So let's get started. First of all, uh, what is this whole thing about? We have Async API website. So that async API website is asyncapi.com. This async API website, you can see uh, everything uh, available over there. It's in next year's website. And uh, what's happening here uh, that we have different kind of things on related to async API about concept tutorials. So everything exists in this. Okay. So now, what uh, what we need is we haven't done any UI tests over here, and there's quite refactoring required in the website. So what will be looking for the gsoc candidate to work on these ui tests to create the new ui tests uh, decide the testing for library and stuff okay and uh, perform some refactoring in the website this will be a 175 hour project and uh, spanning over whole uh, google summer of code now why is this requirement as i said you we don't have any tests and uh, continuously we are adding scripts just to test out the thing and that's not a good way so we have to particularly maintain things right in uh, like write tests that can be like uh, we can maintain it also and as well as scale it so we have to choose the testing library or whatever the library that we use that we are going to use uh, in a very uh, clear way that it helps us and also it doesn't create any tech debt in our code Let's learn more about it. So first of all, uh, Akshat and me are the mentors for this project. So you can uh, get in touch with us. And also, uh, if you have any ideas, you can drop in this. I'll be sharing this link. This is the particular uh, thread or you can say the issue that we'll be following on for all the ideas proposed and all the participants commenting out their ideas. Okay, So this is the particular page or you can say the issue that you should look for. I'll be sharing this link in the description as well. Now, it is important to understand, first of all, what is website here. Okay, so if you go to Async API website, you'll see a lot of things, components, and a lot of things happening. Okay, so it's not an easy website or like the plain website portfolio kind of, a, it has a lot of components and a lot of dependencies out there, right? So first of all, it's the best practice that I will say, take two days time, understand what's happening inside the website, what this lib is for, okay? Then what is what are the different components? Try to run it locally on your system. You'll find the uh, information in the contributing. Here you'll find what are the different things important. And also you'll be, uh, there'll be .env sample here. So you can take that. Plus, there will be some more uh, instructions given you over here about the project structure that will be really helpful for you to understand what are the various components and various nits and nats of the website. Once you know this, you got the understanding what's happening there, what are the different things, then you can write tests about it. You cannot directly jump on and write tests because we need uh, someone to understand what are the different scene scenarios here to be tested. And in order to know the scenarios, you need to know the different sections of code and how things are working, right? It's a Next.js website. Again mentioning, it's a Next.js website. So coming to here in this issue. So uh, you can read this particular message, the introductory message from Akshat about this. What I'll be focusing right now is uh, particularly on the uh, steps that should be in your proposal like how you can structure your proposal out okay 
so first of all uh, we do not have any testing library so make sure that the testing library uh, is fixed uh, like it's following our criteria it should be fast and re reliable flake detection and handle glossy what happens with the react testing library a lot of flaky tests appear uh, and it doesn't handle it really well so we do not want that thing to happen here um, because it's open source plus requires that requires actually a lot of maintenance and that's a very valid point uh, in the open source world everyone is having their own job as well they're contributing to open source out of their free time so they do not want to like just write up tests maintain tests that's not a productive work that's why we want something to have flake detection and it handles really well so something like cypress it does it out of the box so for till now we have cypress in our mind but we are looking for the different tools or different ideas that how we can perform for building out this year so these are coming going to come from you folks that who are going to the applying to this particular organization to particular idea in this so we are looking for that okay so you can add more uh, this is the basic criteria there can be like you can have your own criteria as well like what are the different these, these criteria should be present but if you want to add on more to this uh, that that is going to help us and also help to maintain the things out that is also uh, you can add that as well so here you can uh, join the thread and that's how you can uh, get involved with it so i told you about the proposal thing that you have to figure out first website figure out the pain points in the website third point is you have to figure out the different testing scenarios once you have the testing scenarios done then uh, categorize them into critical medium and low risk we'll be targeting on critical ones and critical ones will be the whenever you are going to merge the or commit pre-commit hook that's the idea whenever we are going to have a pre-commit we can write a pre-commit hook to determine when to run the test and when to not so critical flows should be passing in every commit so that is the case here so all these things uh, makes the proposal stand out and what we need so to make the proposal stand out that's the first point you have to go through the website report you have still time it's uh, 5th of march we still have time so try to focus on getting the website repository very like getting to know the website repository really well so you can write the proposals that's what whole thing is about and uh, yeah this is the crucial thing and this will be helping you in your career as well because whenever you are going to uh, what you say apply for jobs and stuff and when you're going to perform your job these are the things also happen there as well so this will help you in one way to do more better job or if you're already a working professional it will add on to your career that's all so i hope you got the idea here that what are the different things to be known and we'll be sharing this link with you that's all thank you so much all the best